Hey everybody, West here. Um, got the FBTF1, the FBTF1 out here, the triangle fuse. And I came out earlier and ran that new motor on the uh, on there with a 107 prop on it, and uh, certainly does not like it. So I gave up on the small motor, and I've gone to my 28, uh, 2826 there. And they basically a chopped down 118 prop. Actually, it's 1185. And um, we'll see how it does. And uh, we'll get her fired up. Not pushing very much. Probably gonna need a. Probably a 10 8. This chopped one here is, is pretty small, diameter wise. And of course, it loses its efficiency when the tips aren't at supersonic speed. So let's see. I put the hat cam on here with the vloggy. Hit some speed. Yeah, that's at full throttle. So definitely a larger prop would be in order. Very uh, roll rate responsive. Wind sensitive. I think there's too much flex in the uh, elevator wire as well, push rod. It's not a stiffy. Throttling off. Might be a little tiny bit tail heavy, like just. Yeah, the um, <clears throat> you can see the you can see the elevator wagon uh, up in, or wagon bouncing up and down. I should probably change that out. 
Okay, so I didn't make any any trim adjustments whatsoever. We are at um, pretty much at zero. Let me see how warm the motor is. Yeah, good. The heat is uh, negligible on both motor and speed control. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I probably should have started a clock, huh? I'm running like full throttle here, just about full throttle. 15 minute clock is probably safe. Alright, clock started. Put tape over the belly, uh, over the rubber bands on the belly. Come on, get some speed. She definitely does not like to uh, a little interference right there. Yeah, nose is coming up a little. Seems a little tail heavy. Look how the tail's kind of drooping. Let me move that battery forward. I think I'm still recording. <sighs> be nice to get this one uh, to be a little speedy, but probably wishful thinking with the uh, uh, excuse excuse me the motor up on the pylon. All right, let me move this battery forward.
Got a, a tiny bit of tiny bit of reflex in it. Let me come back this way some more. She's not too quick about climbing up with this motor. Let me smell. Nope, motor smells clean. Definitely not flying the way I expected her to, but you know, if you build it like an easy star, it's gonna fly like an easy star, right? Wow. So maybe the tail moment's a little too close. <laughs> Someone had suggested that. But it was about uh, elevator sensitivity. I bet this girl would perform a whole lot better with tractor. Put the put the motor in the nose and go. I don't know. Yeah, I'm at full throttle right now, all of this. Turn her around and do that uh, throttle off. And throttling off now. A little better glide. Oh, yeah.
check the motor. I want to cook this one. This is my literally my favorite all round motor. Got a little disorientated there. Okay. I'm going to call that good. Time wise, we're at four minutes to go. So that was 11 minutes essentially of full throttle. 10 minutes for sure. Batteries feel good. Motor feels pretty good. I can still hold my hand on it. It's a little bit warm, but what you would expect anyway from a, a uh, undersized prop. Um, Literally had to put no trim except for uh, a little down trim in it. Let's see where she's at right now. Yeah, she's like zero. Zero on the horizontal stab, so uh, I'm pleased with that. CG's probably pretty close to where it needs to be. Alright, we'll call that good and. Uh, get a better prop on there suited for this mota <coughs> all right west out